In this video, I'm going to explain why I think these two functions are really nice, I think they deserve their own name, and then we're going to come up with a good name for them. Just like the first derivative of e to dx is e to dx, we also have that the second derivative of the hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine is equal to themselves. Similarly, the fourth derivative of sine of x and cosine of x are themselves. And similarly, there are some functions whose third derivative is equal to itself, but those are not very well known and they don't have a name, so let's give them a good name. In a previous video, I've shown that the functions that are equal to their third derivative are essentially e to dx and one of these two functions and then the linear combinations of those three. What name should we give to these functions? Why are the hyperbolic functions called hyperbolic anyway? The reason is that just like cosine and sine are defined to parameterize the circle of radius 1, the hyperbolic cosine and the hyperbolic sine parameterize a hyperbola. So maybe we should look at the geometry of what are parameterizing those functions whose third derivative is equal to itself. Here is the circle of radius 1 that cosine and sine parameterize so nicely. And this is the half of the hyperbola parameterized by cosine h sine h. So what shape are parameterizing the points given by g, f? When you plot them, you get this shape. So it is a spiral, and it's in fact a logarithmic spiral. So I propose that this function is called the spiral cosine, and that function is called the spiral sine, and these are the spiral trigonometric functions. And then the spiral trigonometric functions are parameterizing the spiral given in polar coordinates by r is equal to minus theta divided by the square root of 3. And now this is how the spiral trigonometric functions fit in this family of functions between the hyperbolic ones and the regular trigonometric functions such that sine s third derivative is equal to sine s as cosine s third derivative is equal to cosine s. So that's their name, the spiral trigonometric functions. What do you think?